Now we're told then that water flows into this container at a rate of 8 centimeter cubes per second. So first of all what that's saying is that the rate of change of volume dv by dt in other words is equal to a constant rate of 8 centimeter cubes every second. So water's pouring into this container at 8 centimeter cubes every second. And we've got to find the rate of change of the height when the height is 12. So essentially we've got to find dh by dt. Now how are we going to find dh by dt? Well this is a classic case of connected rates of change. What we do is we've got to find this rate of change and so we use the chain rule. We say that this is dh by d something times the same d something by dt. What we put here must be the same. Well, we can get a clue because we've got dv by dt up here. It's got to be dv. So we put dv there and dv there. It's as if these cancel to leave you with dh over dt. Now we have dv by dt. It's 8. That's good. What we need now is dh by dv. But from the first part of the question, we established that the volume was 4 27ths pi h cubed. And so we can find from this dv by dh. So if we do that, it follows from here that dv by dh equals, and if we differentiate this in the normal way, we're going to have 4 27ths pi multiplied by the differential of h cubed, which is 3h squared. And you can cancel this down, the 3 into 3 goes 1, 3 into 27 goes 9. So what you've got is essentially 4 pi h squared over 9. So we'll just put that down as 4 pi h squared over 9. So when it comes to dh dv, all we need to do is invert this fraction. So we can carry on from here, dh dv is going to be 9 then over 4 pi h squared. So 9 over 4 pi h squared. And then we're multiplying this by dv by dt, which is the 8. And we can simplify this because 4 will go into 4 once and go into 8 twice. So we end up with 18 over pi h squared. So 18 over pi h squared. So that's the general rate of change of the height with respect to time in terms of the height h. So all we need to do now in order to answer this question is just to say well what's this going to be when h is 12? So, or well, say 12 centimeters. So we just need to put h is 12 into here. So therefore we've got dh by dt is going to equal 18 over pi times 12 squared. Okay? Well, if you work out 18 over 12 squared, 18 over 144, that reduces down to 1 eighth. So you've got 1 over 8 pi, because we're asked to give it in terms of pi. So there you go, 1 over 8 pi. And don't forget the units, that will be centimeters per second. It's a rate of change of height, so that's a measurement of length in time. So I'll just put therefore dh by dt again there. So there you go. There's the answer then to this problem.